harvest practices, loose or mixed greens with bunched and head greens. This video will share tips and best practices for harvest, wash, and pack operations of mixed or loose greens, as well as variations for bunched and head greens. Field preparations. An efficient harvest starts way back with field preparations, preventing or keeping weeds under control, often with a stale seed bed, and a good thick stand of plants. Baby salad greens are usually grown over an entire bed, though some components of the mix can be in individual rows. Growing the mix. Species and varieties that will make up the mix are usually grown in separate blocks and mixed during the harvesting and washing stages. If one component of the mix is unexpectedly slow to grow or has a problem with quality, it can be left out of the final mix instead of lowering the whole mix quality. Cutting the greens. Field greens are typically cut with long, well-sharpened knives, dragging a harvest bin along next to the harvester. The bin on the opposite side of the body as the knife. Wide beds are harvested from both sides or kneeling on the bed itself. Transporting to wash station. Bins are transported back to the wash station with a cart, truck, van, etc. Farms are quite creative with their transportation vehicles. Fresh cut greens are tender and need to be quickly protected from sun and wind. Some farms sprinkle the tops of harvested bins with a watering can to keep them fresh. Washing loose greens. Most small scale farms opt for dunk tubs for washing greens. Green species or components are combined in the water where they can be gently mixed without bruising. Cleaner stuff gets to use the water first, while really dirty stuff, like spinach, is rinsed last. Multiple dunk tanks are ganged up in a line, so by the last rinse, the greens are being removed from fairly clean water. Rinses range from one to three, and also serve as a chance to remove weeds and bad leaves. Greens are moved from bin to bin with pool skimmer or fish net, dedicated to the wash stand, of course. The more water drains from the scoop of greens before going to the next cleanest bin, the better. Farms usually sell salad mix as rinsed, but with the suggestion that the customer wash it before eating. Commentary on dunk tanks. Dunk tank style washing doesn't ensure that potential disease causing contaminants brought in from the field don't get moved from wash bin to wash bin and onto the ready to sell product. Water should always start out potable, but after the first dirty greens batch, that water doesn't stay potable. There isn't a scientific standard for how cloudy that rinse water can get before you change it. You'll have to make up a personal standard for your farm. Even if chlorinated, the soil in the water quickly binds up the free chlorine, rendering it inactive. You will smell the chlorine, and this doesn't mean it's still active though. The key to keeping produce pathogen free is in the field. Don't harvest produce that is touching wild animal feces. Be careful about manure applications. Leave 120 days between fresh manure applications and harvest of crops that touch the ground. Use fully composted, heated compost. Be aware of water runoff into the field from potential contamination. Train workers seriously about personal hygiene and food safety. As the large-scale greens industry has found out, no amount of sophisticated chlorinated rinses can reliably make field-contaminated greens safe again. Bubble wash. One farm has set up a jacuzzi motor with PVC piping and holes drilled into it to create a gentle bubble rinse for greens. This keeps the greens moving and provides a better rinse with one tank. This system is set up in a repurposed milk tank and drains from the bottom. Drying the mix. Soggy greens don't last as long as spun dry greens. Some farms simply pack newly rinsed greens into containers with good bottom drainage and let them drip drain in the cooler. Lugs of various styles work as long as the greens are kept from drying out in the cooler. Some farms use an oversized salad spinner, while others spin greens in a mesh bag or loose with a washing machine set on the spin cycle. Packing the mix. Some farms like to make individual packages in plastic bags that can be heat sealed or in plastic clamshell containers. These can be sold by weight, you must have a registered scale, or volume. They are then labeled with the item, date picked, 
weight or amount, and destination. Labels are critical in wholesale operations. Other farms opt to bring greens to market loose in a bin and let the customers pack their own quantities. Bunched greens. Uniform bunches. Picking and leaving an example bunch for workers to gauge their size against will help with uniformity when there may be several different people harvesting, especially new workers. Pace. If a farmer or crew leader shows how products are to be harvested and sets a pace for other workers, they will be more likely to keep up and be as efficient as their leader. Counting bunches. Rather than trying to count bins full of greens to see if you have enough bunches, you can count out enough rubber bands and put around your wrist. When they are gone, you have finished the job. Packing bunches. Filling bins with the same number of bunches will help reduce time counting later when filling orders. Head lettuce. Harvesting head selection. Some farms will have one person selecting and cutting lettuce heads. They are able to make quick decisions on what they feel are the right size and number of varieties. They are setting the pace for those that are following. This improves efficiency and allows one person to determine the size of heads to be harvested. They will have another person to follow behind with a wheelbarrow or bin. These workers are taking off wilted or damaged leaves counting and packing heads. Washing head greens. As with loose greens, head greens are often washed in dunk tubs with one to three rinses and sold as rinsed with the suggestion that the customer wash at home. Packing and storing. When much of the water has been removed, they can be packed for their next destination. Upside down to continue draining, with the exception of butter crunch varieties, which drain right side up. They may go into large bins with holes drilled in the bottom to let excess water drain. You may track by counting the number of heads, number of bins, knowing the average number of heads that fit in a bin, or by weight.